What's going on, everybody? David Feldman Macri is here, and we'll talk about something that's just been pondering on. And I just wanted to play this cool video too that I made. It's pretty simple to make in Canva. Uh oh, I can't rewind it. There we go. All right, cool. Phone calls versus call from ads conversions. What is the difference? Dun dun dun. So, all right, enough of the tacky intro. Let's actually get into exactly what I'm talking about. And to do that, I'm gonna take you into the Google Ads interface. Let's move there. All right, guys, so we're in the Google Ads interface now. Just wanna show you this real quick. So I'm in the overall campaigns tab. I have some of the anonymous data covered and the date range really doesn't matter because I'm just gonna show you where it's at. So if you have a call extension, which is now called a call asset, I think, assets, uh, you'll see a column in here that's phone calls. So that's how many phone calls there is, right? But there's also something under conversions that is very similar. It's called call from ads. Here's conversions. The way you see this in the campaign view, the way I like to see it is if you go to segment conversions and then con um, segment by conversion action, when you scroll here, you'll see these little things here, call from ads, right? So as an example, here's where it gets confusing. And here's why I think it's really important to understand and distinguish the difference um, on this campaign, just in the last 30 days, this received a tracked 38 phone calls, but it also received 26.9 call formats. The 0.9s and the decimal points are really from attribution, that data-driven attribution, assigning credit to, you know, exactly what actually assisted in the conversion. Um, a call, you would think it's just a call, but whatever, that's data-driven attribution. But our main question was, okay, is this 38 phone calls and this, let's call it 27 phone calls, in addition to, do you combine them? Or is this 27 phone calls a part of the 38 phone calls? Like, what's the rhyme or reason? And it looks like the phone call blah, number is actually higher in most cases, if not every case, than the call from ads number. You know, this instance, 36 versus 27. This one, 27 versus 17. This one, 20 versus 13 and a half. So that kind of led me to believe that maybe the call from ads is being tracked separately, but is part of the overall phone calls. So just just this little nuance in, in one of our, our lead specialists, lead managers, he's like, hey, do you know the difference between this? And I really couldn't articulate it. So I figured... There's some people out there that maybe don't know the answer or maybe do or are way smarter than I am. So let's actually look into it right now. And um, yeah, so here's what we found in a nutshell. So when I hover over phone calls in the Google Ads interface, we would find this definition. Phone calls are the number of times people clicked on a phone number displayed in an ad on a mobile device or manually dialed the Google forwarding number displayed in an ad on any device. Okay, lots to unpack there, but, well, not really. Um, phone calls are really gonna be primarily for mobile because desktop, you don't really call from. Mobile, you do. So this basically is saying, it's the number of times someone clicked on a phone number that's displayed in the ad from mobile or manually dialed it if you have Google forwarding on. Cool. So that was that one. That's phone calls Google uh, from Google Ads. And if I actually go here and hover over phone calls, you'll get the same definition, right? That's where I got it from. So now if I go back, let's look at what our call from ads now. So literally what I did is type in call from ads conversions to get a definition. I got this support article and uh, basically it's just call from ads conversions you'll get this about phone call conversion tracking. That's this article. So if I go back, types of phone call conversions you can track outline below are five ways to track phone calls, phone call conversions. So this is a little bit different than tracking just the phone calls or for the phone call column. So outline below are five ways to track phone call conversions as well as how to set up phone call conversion tracking. So call formats, right? Track calls made directly from call only ads or call and location assets used in your ads. You set, this is key here, this is key. You set a minimum call length and every call that lasts at least that long is counted as a conversion. So 
here's what I believe. There is overlap, okay? There is overlap. This phone call is just the number of times someone clicked on a phone number displayed in an ad on the mobile device or if you use that Google forwarding number. In this instance, the example I showed you, we're not using a Google forwarding number. We're using a separate number. So really that phone call column is just the amount of times the call asset was, was clicked, right? But a call from ad conversion, the key difference is really in this minimum call length. So I actually went into the settings. Um, I'll show you exactly where that is in a second, but I went into settings and I checked in the conversion column and that actually defaulted to 60 seconds. So that call from ad conversion are only the people that called that lasted 60 seconds or longer, which makes sense. Why, you know, you know, um, some of these phone calls like this number is, is a more qualified phone call than this one because this one is every single call and this one is any calls that last longer, at least 60 seconds or longer. So where to set that minimum length, you'll actually go into the conversion settings. Let me show you that. Cool. So if you don't know how to get to this, this is the settings call from ads conversion setting. If you don't know how to get to it, you can type in here conversions type in conversions, it'll bring you to a whole list of conversions. And then you can scroll down to call from ads. It's pre-populated in there as long as you have a call asset um, in your account. And then you'll be able to see these settings. So I remember not setting this up, but this was the automatic default 60 seconds. And I think that's okay, you know, at least for our situation. Uh, it depends on the business too. Maybe you'd want to make that if it's a you know, outgoing lead gen, like if they're making outgoing calls, you probably will see a lot less calls, um, not last 60 seconds. So you may want to change that in certain instances, but for calls coming in, I think it's, I think it's totally fine. Um, and you could set up multiple instances of this and see, you know, exactly how long your calls last. You could even do call from ads, 60 seconds, call from ads, um, 120 seconds, call from ad, 180 seconds, whatever. So that my friends, is the difference between phone calls and call from ads from conversions within Google Ads. Hopefully this helped you out. If this did, I'd love if you gave me that thumbs up for the algorithm gods, and so we need to appease them. Um, if there is anything else, comment and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next set of videos, and I uh, hope you have a great day.